Hi, I'm Mark Spencer, President of Acometrics, and I'd like to welcome you to another instrumentation training video. Of all the instruments that are available to the water and wastewater market, there is one that has earned the dual titles of most misunderstood and most underutilized. That instrument is the ORP analyzer. ORP is a mystery because it doesn't really measure anything specific, nor does it measure a parameter that most of us readily understand. It's a measure of everything in the water that is able to oxidize or reduce whatever you can put in the water. Though you may not know what the terms oxidize and reduce mean, you need to know that oxidation reduction reactions underlie most of the chemistry that goes on in the water and wastewater treatment. Breakdown of organic matter, conversion of ammonia to nitrite and nitrate, conversion of nitrate to nitrogen, disinfection by chlorine or ozone, metal plating, phosphorus removal, hydrogen sulfide reduction. All of these processes and more depend on ORP. If you want to know more about ORP and why you might be missing out of opportunities to use ORP analyzers, then I invite you to download a white paper I wrote for the average user who does not have to have a chemistry degree. In this video, I'd like to go over the calibration of an ORP probe. Now, an ORP sensor is a close cousin of a pH sensor. In fact, it differs only in the process electrode. But that one change does make a world of difference. When we calibrated a pH probe, we used two solutions of differing pH values, 4, 7, or 10, and we calibrated the probe output against the pH of each calibration solution. ORP is the value of the probe output, so there's nothing to plot. All we can do is compare an ORP probe output to one solution whose ORP value we already know. Technically speaking, this is not calibration, but standardization. But if you don't mind the transgression, we'll continue to use the term calibration. For our calibration, we will use the Shark 120 multi-parameter controller, the R60C8 differential probe, and Aquametrics 600 millivolt solution. We make it right here from an old family recipe. We also make a 200 millivolt solution, but for most applications, 600 millivolts is closer to the real world values. If you're familiar with the Shark, then you already know that you can calibrate using the front menu, but it's even easier and quicker to use the hidden menu that you access by flipping down at the front. Let's get started. To get to the calibration menu, I press down once, and calibration is the first entry. I press the left right key to select it. And then the very first line item is manual cal, ORP. That's exactly what we want to choose, so I hit the left right arrow. And the display says, if buffer is ready, press down. Well, the buffer is not ready, let me put my probe into it. And like most probes and calibration solutions, we want to give it at least 30 seconds so that the probe can equilibrate. Well, let's just assume we've given it that 30 seconds, even if we really haven't. We'll press down. And it says running manual cal. Wait. And there it says. It says 541. So now what we have to do is increase the value until that 541 reaches 600, which is the known value of the ORP solution. Let's do that right now. I'm just going to hit the up arrow, up button, and then I will get to 600. Pressing the left right button and then the down button seals that. Now it says, do we want to store that value? And the answer is definitely yes. Left right button to get to the Y and the down button to select it. We're all set. It's that easy. Unlike calibrating a pH probe, there is no efficiency rating, so you really are done. One thing to keep in mind is that ORP readings are influenced by temperature, just like pH. However, unlike pH, ORP readings are never compensated for temperature. They are what they are. Since temperature does affect their values, it's a good idea to note the temperature of your process. Just as with pH calibration, you also have the option of calibrating the temperature sensor. That's it. You are now set to enter the wonderful world of ORP. 
In the next video, I'll show you how to troubleshoot problems you may encounter when making ORP measurements. Thanks. Thank you.